Welcome to this digital anarchy tutorial going over how to install, register, and start using Beautybox 5 in DaVinci Resolve. Beautybox is a skin retouching and digital makeup effect that uses a mask to only apply the effect to your subject's skin tones. To download Beautybox, you can go to digitalanarchy.com, go to the demo section, click Beautybox video, and this takes you to the downloads page where you can select Windows demos or Mac demos and then find the version of Beautybox that you want to download. I'm going to download the OpenFX version for Resolve Nuke and other OpenFX applications. And then once it's installed, you can open up Resolve. Once Beautybox is installed, you can find it in your effects library under OpenFX Digital Anarchy and drag it onto your clip. You can also apply this in fusion mode and in color mode although we don't recommend using it in fusion mode because it's gonna render more slowly. Once Beautybox is applied, you'll see the demo watermark lines over the image if you're using Beautybox as a demo. This lets you try out Beautybox to see how it works for your footage. And once you buy a license, you can remove the watermarks by entering your serial number. To do that, go to the effect controls for Beautybox, click register at the bottom, click authorize, and you can enter anything for your name leave organization blank and enter your serial number and click OK. It tells you it needs to activate over the internet, which just means it's gonna contact our activation server to confirm that it's a valid serial number. And once that's done, you should see the watermark lines disappear. To use Beautybox, and I'm gonna use Beautybox in color mode, the Beautybox controls themselves are the same whether you're in color mode, fusion mode, or edit mode. In color mode, I'm gonna create a new serial node And then from my OpenFX browser, find Beautybox under Digital Anarchy and apply it to the new serial node. Using Beautybox has two basic steps. The first is creating a mask, which identifies the skin tones in your shots. And the second is adding the amount of smoothing and retouching that you want. The easiest way to get started with a mask is to go down to the bottom of the Beautybox controls and click Analyze Frame. This looks at your frame and tries to identify skin tones, and you can see where those skin tones are by opening this mask dropdown and checking show mask. Any white areas are identified as skin tones and are going to have the beauty box retouching applied to them. Any black areas are not skin tones and won't have the effect applied, and any gray areas are going to have some of the effect applied. So this analyze frame identified where the skin tones are, but also a lot of the background. And we can tweak the mask in a few ways to get it to be more accurate. In addition to using Analyze Frame, you can set this mode to either Set Color or to Add Color. When it's set to Set Color, clicking on the frame will use the color that you clicked on to create the mask. Setting it to Add Color adds any additional colors that you click on to the mask. So you can build the mask that way, or you can use these dark color and light color droppers to click on a dark area of the skin and then to click on a light area of the skin and start with a somewhat more accurate mask. So this one has less of the background included. You'll probably want to change the mode from add color back to off to make sure you don't accidentally change the mask by clicking on the frame. Next, you can use these hue range, saturation range, and value range sliders to tweak the mask area. Turning these down is going to decrease the mask area and turning them up is going to increase the mask area so that the skin is still white, but other areas of the shot are black. Once you have a mask that you're satisfied with, I'm gonna turn off show mask. You can start adjusting the smoothing settings. The smoothing amount control at the top applies overall smoothing to the mask area. So if you crank this up, you'll see the mask area start to get really smoothed over. And if you turn it down, you'll get a more natural retouched look. Skin Detail Smoothing applies smoothing to specific details in the skin. The higher that you set this, the more smoothing you're going to get on specific facial features like wrinkles and pores. You may want to zoom in to get a better idea of what this is doing. You can see how some of the lines in the face become more smoothed over the more I increase this. And you can toggle the node on and off to see the before and after. Adding smoothing reduces the contrast of the skin, and you can use the Contrast Enhance slider to add some of that definition back in. 
Beautybox has a few other tools to make quick adjustments to the look of the image. The sharpen control adds extra sharpening and you can check the use mask box to sharpen only the mask area or uncheck it to sharpen the entire image. And same with the color correction, you can check use mask to add quick hue, saturation, and brightness adjustments to either the whole image or just the mask area. The preset dropdown includes a bunch of looks if you want to stylize the shot. And finally, the shine removal slider can be used to reduce overexposed or areas where light is reflecting off the subject's face. Turning this up is going to reduce the brightness on those hotspots. This does decrease the contrast a little bit, so if you do add a lot of shine removal, you may want to compensate by adding in some extra contrast enhance. And finally, while Beautybox does a pretty good job creating the mask, you can create a manual mask if you want more control over the area where Beautybox is being applied. In color mode, you can go to the window control and draw a mask around the area that you want to include. You could draw a better mask than this, but I'm just doing a quick one to include the face. And now when I turn on show mask, you can see that beauty box is only applied to the face. The hair is black, so the mask is not applied to the hair and the background is completely removed. And you can use the tracker to have the mask follow the subject as they move. So just open the tracker and click forward. And Resolve is going to start tracking this subject's head movement and move the mask to match it. You want to make sure to track forward from your starting point and also to track backwards. I'm not going to go through that whole process now. But once it's done, you'll have a mask that follows the subject as they move and it only applies the mask to the subject's skin and nothing else in the background, even if there are a lot of similar tones between the subject's skin and other things in the frame. You'll also want to make sure that the Use GPU checkbox at the bottom of the Beautybox controls is checked. This means that Beautybox is using your graphics card to speed up rendering. So you're going to want to leave this checked at all times unless you're running into issues with it checked, which we can help you troubleshoot. If you have any questions about Beautybox or run into any issues, you can get in touch with us at cs at digitalanarchy.com and you can download the free demo of Beautybox at our website, digitalanarchy.com.